Charlie. Sorry, I talked over the front of that, John. No, yeah, let's go for it again. This is Robbie Knox. If you're a fan of this channel, you're probably aware of him. But for those of you who aren't, he's a TV personality turned YouTuber who I absolutely destroyed at Welly Wanging last year. A hero to zero. Coffee with Robbie Knox. Robbie asked me to film a video where we go on a walk for his channel, which is where we filmed the intro to this video where I decided to replace random words with the word challenge. Right, so I'm here today with Robbie Knox. We've just done a video for his challenge. Uh, what, what's the series going to be called? Uh, walking with, I don't know actually. Going something to do with walking. And something me. to do with walking. Um, but whilst we were doing the challenge, we noticed that we were both wearing Fitbits. So what we have decided to do is to do a video on my channel where we compete to see who can walk the most steps over the course of five days, like a Monday to Friday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Saturday, a weekday hustle. It's weekday hustle, I think they call it on Fitbit. Fitbit we parlance. Weekday hustle. So what we're going to do, we're going to do that video. Um, we'll both keep a little diary of it. And uh, at the end of it, we'll see how much I've smashed Robbie by. Apparently, he's does more steps than Stevie White's mum. But. Okay, so Robbie Knox and I have just become friends on Fitbit and the first thing that I noticed is that Robbie has got a profile picture, whereas if I go onto my accounts, there is no profile picture. So I am now gonna go and take a profile picture, something which is going to intimidate him and let him know that I mean business. So the idea here is put on this headband for my profile picture to try and intimidate Robbie because if he sees me in this he'll assume that I take my exercise and fitness and walking incredibly serious. So trying to get that psychological advantage early on. Right, time to take a profile picture, hang on. Right, that doesn't really say intimidating does it? I need to go for something a bit more threatening. Um, I'm going to go for one where I'm growling, let's try that, hang on a second. Much better. Definitely way more intimidating. Robbie nil, John one. There is no way that that is not going to intimidate the crap out of him. This is gonna be easy. Right, I think it's actually two nil to me because I've just noticed that this week, the week before the challenge started, I have done nearly 9,000 steps more than Robbie. Okay, now the last thing I've got to do is um, challenge Robbie to a work week hustle starting on Monday, so. Challenge Robbie, start. Let's see if he accepts. I mean, I know he will, because we've already discussed this, but um, let's cut to maybe some footage of him accepting. I don't know if he records that. <sighs> let's go to day one. So it's day one of the challenge. It's about seven in the morning, and the plan today is to just try and break Robbie's will and do so many steps today that when he gets to bed at the end of the day and he looks at my steps compared to his, he thinks to himself, I just can't keep up with that. And we win the challenge on day one because today is the day I'm most free to do steps. So I'm about to go for a run and then Charlie and I are gonna go for a big old walk and hopefully we'll have won the challenge by the end of day one and broken Robbie's spirit. As mean as that sounds. Okay, so it's Monday morning, just whispering because it's 5.14. AM. Um, just got up and I'm going to do a few hundred laps of the kitchen island just before uh, I go to the gym. I'm not going to do cardio at the gym so I won't get steps there. I actually hate running. Just like I say at this point, I think John's going to win this challenge because he cares more, doesn't he? Tries hard, a bit too try hard. If I'm honest, this channel. Um, but I reckon I can get two to three thousand in here and then uh, head off to the gym. So I've just got back from my run and I have done 6,357 steps. But unfortunately, I think Robbie might have had the same idea as me this morning because he's on 5,850. 90 so gonna have to go shower have some breakfast go for this walk with charlie and see if we can pull ahead there but uh he has started much stronger than i expected him to right so charlie and i are going out for a walk now 
I've already hit 10,000 steps and it's only, it's before 12 o'clock, what time is it? Oh, I don't know, 11. It's early. Um, it's past 11. But Robbie has been keeping pace with me all morning, so he's taking this a lot more seriously than I thought he was going to. So we're now going for a big old walk. And the great thing about this walk is that there is no signal the entire walk. So he won't know what steps I'm on and it will suddenly jump up, hopefully by a fairly significant margin, which uh, should hopefully crush his spirit. That's the plan, isn't it? We're coming for you, Robbie. So we've got a bit distracted on this walk and we've spent loads of time just like sitting and filming lovely things and not getting our steps in. We've completely lost track of what we're meant to be doing. But look at this, look how good this is. So yeah, put some steps in, but uh, can't see how many Robbie's done whilst we've been doing this. So not sure that it's been enough. We'll go get some lunch now and when we're in the pub, we'll check how many steps Robbie's done and how many we've done. Or how many I've done. So we're finally back in service and I am on 17,244 steps, which is a good five and a half thousand more than Robbie Knox. So hopefully that walk has done enough to completely demoralize Robbie. Um, until then, time for lunch. All right, so it's 5.30 in the morning on Tuesday now. Uh, just check the results, I'm 11,000 steps behind. I think. I Big problem I've got at the minute is I've got a bit of work to do and stuff this week, which that editing which has to be done sat at desk, so it's quite hard to get that many steps. My best tactic is to hit to get a few thousand in every morning, and then that gives me a little base. Um, today should be a better day. I'm doing some walking today, I'm filming with Jack Mate for my YouTube channel, so we're going for a country walk. Should get a few steps in there, so today should be a good day. It's the days when I'm not doing that that I'm going to struggle here. John's got less to do, I think. I don't think he's got a job, and I think he's got, you know, got kids. So he's, never, he's got the freedom to just walk, isn't he? So he's, he's definitely a heavy favourite, but I'm going to give it a good shot and keep walking. 479 so far today. We go again. So it's the morning of day two and I managed to do 24,000 steps yesterday, which I think is pretty good going, but the weather today is absolutely atrocious. So the chances of me going outside to do a walk are incredibly slim. So I'm just gonna have to do a lot of walking around the house today, you know, walk around in the kitchen, walk up and down the corridor, walk around whilst I'm brushing my teeth, just sort of that sort of thing to see how many steps I can get in. And I've just got to hope that Robbie has got the same problem and is suffering with some horrendous weather down there. But I have just looked what the weather is like down where Robbie is and uh, it's looking a lot better. So a good chance he could catch up today, which is a shame because I'd really put down quite a lead. It's been a great day in steps battle. Very windy, isn't it? Sorry, it's out in the open here. Just went through a graveyard. Uh, I've been doing some filming with Jack Mate today, so I've got um, quite a lot of steps because of walking thing. So I'm um, on 17,000 for the day, which makes me uh, ahead of John by about 2,000. So I'm going to try and get another 45 minutes walking in now before I meet some people for dinner. Right, so today's been an absolute disaster for me because I've spent the day filming and editing and Robbie has spent the day going for a walk with Jackmate and um, he has now pulled 5,000 steps into the lead. I had a 10,000 step lead and he has pulled well ahead so I am going to need to walk but uh, it is still absolutely torrential out there. To put it into context, it is leaking through the these thick walls. Look how thick that wall is and it is still leaking through. So I don't know what I'm going to do because the weather is horrific. I think I'm just going to have to like walk up and down the corridor and hope that I get enough steps in. Right, that's not really helped. That was about a thousand steps. So I think I'm going to have to go out. I think I have to go out into the rain. Oh my God. Oh my God. What am I doing? This is ridiculous. 
some reason, Charlie decided to come with me. This is really not good. Robbie, I just want you to know that this is just, oh God, that this is how dedicated I am to beating you. I will do this all day long. I won't, but for the sake of the video, I will. Right, I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure how worth it that was because I am absolutely drenched. I'm dripping, all just for a silly walking challenge. Let's see how, uh, how I'm doing compared to Robbie. Right, so I'm actually 50 steps ahead of Robbie. Totally worth it. Just gotta go get changed, cause you know, bit wet. It's the morning of day three and I've already been for a run this morning, so I am now 5,000 steps ahead of Robbie, which isn't a bad start to the day, uh, but I'm not gonna get the chance to walk much today. Um, I've got a lot of editing to do. I'm gonna go to a supermarket, which is a few steps. Might try and get a walk in later, uh, but honestly, Gonna just see if I can coast through today uh, and power on through to tomorrow where hopefully I'll get a few more steps in. Gone to a, a Tesco Extra, which is one of the bigger ones, so I'm gonna walk up and down every hour, get those steps in. So today is a difficult walking day because I've spent the majority of my morning editing and I'm now about to go and drive to Cambridge, which is a three and a half hour drive on a good run. So really not going to get much walking done today. Not checked to see where I am, not checked to see where Robbie is. So going to have to hope that when I get to Cambridge, the weather's good so I can do some walking there because at the moment, today's Robbie's day really. Right, so I've just got to Cambridge and it is absolutely pissing it down here and there's no chance of me doing what I did the other day and going out for a walk in the rain. Um, I've just checked, I'm 3,000 steps ahead of Robbie, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. Obviously I'll still move around, but I'm not actually gonna go out for a walk and hopefully 3,000 steps is enough going into the last day to clinch it, but I do know that Robbie is filming a walking video tomorrow, so if it carries on raining, it's gonna be another trip out in the rain for me, I think. So it's Thursday, didn't really do any steps yesterday because I was hung over so uh John was about 7,000 ahead today I've caught up a, uh, yeah this morning I've caught up a bit this afternoon uh we're walking in London and stuff so he's 1,600 ahead I was getting home now I won't get any more for the rest of the day but then uh tomorrow's Friday last day go for it right so it's the last morning of mine and Robbie's walking challenge and uh there is less than 200 steps in that so uh, gonna have to go for a run uh, I'm in Cambridge so it's flatter here so I might be able to go for a slightly longer run than I did earlier in the week um, but yeah this is gonna be a close finish so a bit of a disaster it's Friday it's getting towards the end of the day and I just noticed my Fitbit it wasn't on my arm and look it's fallen off broken I think it's been tampered with I want John brought before some kind of committee because how am I supposed to win with this? This just fell off my arm and now I can't wear it because this thing's gone decayed and not really working. So I can't do the challenge. I'm only a thousand steps because it fell off. Well, at least I found it and we'll see what we do. I'll put it in my pocket, but I'm not sure it's going to work. So it's a really disappointing end to a fine battle. So it's the final day of the challenge. It's five hours until the challenge finishes. I'm a thousand steps ahead, which doesn't sound that many to me. I'm not confident that that's enough to see me through. I've not done any steps today since the run this morning because it's been pissing it down all day. But we've finally got a bit of clear sky. So I'm going for a quick one mile walk, hoping to get an extra thousand odd steps in and hopefully that'll be enough to clinch it. Uh, and hopefully I'll get those steps in before it rains. Right, it's coming up to seven o'clock in the evening. 
I'm about 3,000 steps ahead, so I think what I'm going to do is just not look at the Fitbit for the rest of the day. I'm going to assume that those 3,000 were enough to win this um, and hope that Robbie doesn't go for a late night run, but go for a little bit of extra excitement and not actually look until the final results until the morning. So it's 11pm, there's an hour left of the challenge and normally John would have the advantage here because I'd be in bed by this time. But today, because I've been out filming, I got back late and I've got a video out tomorrow. So I've got to finish that off, so I've just been editing that. And um, because I haven't been moving, so I think I might have lulled John into a full sense of security where he thinks he can go to sleep because I've not moved for half an hour to an hour. Uh, and then now he's gonna hopefully have gone to sleep. And while the video is rendering, can get the 700 steps I need to claim victory. So I'm just going to do a few more laps of the kitchen island. Uh, and then by the time the video is done, which is probably about five minutes, hopefully I should be the champion. Right, so it's gone half 11 at night. We've been over to a friend's, had a few drinks, just been offered a lift home, and I said, do you know what? I better walk home. I'm going to try and squeeze in a thousand more steps in the last half hour. I have no idea how many steps Robbie has done. I have no idea if this is going to clinch it or not. I might win by a mile. I might just still fall short, but uh, got to go for it. But look at this weather. What am I doing? Okay, so that plan didn't really work. John was just stepping and stuff like that and walking around. I bet Robbie didn't anticipate a drunken last minute walk home because I didn't anticipate that. It's half past 11, John's about 400 steps ahead. So there's this new speed thing in my parents' village, which is one of those things which tells you if you're driving too fast or not. Hang on, might be too dark to see it, but that's it there. I wanna see if uh, at the end of the challenge, I can run and set it off. I was sure that would work. Did that not go off at all? Nope. I think it might have flashed up. Nope. Uh, right, let's go home. Maybe I need to go for a wee in the next 19 minutes I get a few steps. Right, we're home. I guess we'll see whether or not that was enough. <laughs> That's right. I beat Robbie by about 1,800 steps. So yeah, the step challenge is over and I won. I've beaten Robbie at Welly Wanging and it turns out I am a better walker. But I have to admit, it wasn't quite a surprise when I woke up this morning to have a look at the step count because last night Charlie refreshed my phone a couple of times because she was interested to see how we were doing and when I suggested a bit drunkenly that maybe we should walk home, she didn't protest, which uh, normally at that time of night she would. So slightly suspicious that that was the case, but yeah. Robbie, I'm better at you at throwing wellies and walking. So here we are. The uh, competition's over. Bit of a blow. I lost by about 1,800 steps. I mean, it could be argued when my watch fell off, I was on the floor. Did I do 1,900 steps then? No. Um, probably about 200, I'd say. So, disappointing. Lost now to John at welly wanging and walking. And there's not much more basic than walking, is there? So I don't know, don't really know where to go from here. But we go again, we go again. Uh, we'll just have a little think, regroup, and see where we can go from there. But well done, John. Got it. Just want to say a massive thank you to Robbie for taking part in this challenge. The walking video I did for him should be live on his channel now. It's part of his walking series. Um, I am by far the smallest YouTuber he does it with, so please go over and show some love and make me feel slightly less irrelevant. Um, as always, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, piss off. The boy John, the boy John, the boy John. Frankly, I can't be bothered to keep walking around the kitchen aisle, uh, kitchen island. Um, 
because I don't I don't care that much. It's not on my channel. Um, I just I just want to go to bed. <laughs>